finale with Potomac Beads. Join me in making this sea stroll bracelet featuring our new quad bow beads. Let's take a stroll along the ocean and make this fun bracelet. If you need any supplies, check the links below. Gather up your materials and let's get started. To begin our bracelet, we're starting out with a really, really simple design. So what we're going to do, I have a stop bead on some .006 wildfire beading thread with a size 10 needle. You can go down a needle size if you want, but you don't need to for this bracelet. For the starting group of materials, I have my quad bow in that white champagne luster, a six millimeter uh, turquoise colored bead, and then I have 11 OC beads in my Crystal Lab Full Miyuki brand. I'm also gonna have a secondary color of 11 O's, but we're just starting with these simple materials. What I want you to do is pick up your first one of your quad bows, and you're gonna go through one of the exterior holes from the outside arch towards the inside. Let that drop down next to a stop bead that has about two inches right after it, just enough on the stop bead, so that way I have enough to kind of tie my knot on my piece. From here, what we're going to do is we are going to go towards the next, we're going to create a wave basically. You're going to put on one 11 and then we're going to put on our next one of our quad bows. The next quad bow, I want you to go up from the interior towards the exterior loop and let that fall down next to your project. When you're on the exterior here, you're going to add one and two 11 OC beads. Then I want you to add three and four 11 OC beads, four total. Think of it as two groups of four. What you're going to do is you're going to take your needle and thread, and I want you to sew back through the first two beads, so beads one and two, coming out between and before beads three and four. Give a nice tight pull, and that's going to stack the two on top of one another. Push that down towards your project, so that way you have those two beads right there. Take your needle and thread and go down through hole number two of your quad bow that your thread is currently coming out of and push those two beads so they just kind of hang out right there in this two stack. Coming out the center then, I want you to do one 11 one six millimeter bead, one 11 Let that fall down next to your quad bow. Skip over the 11 seed bead and go back through the six millimeter bead but don't go back through the 11, just the six millimeter bead. Give a nice tight pull so you don't have any extra thread showing. Grab one more 11 O seed bead, and then take your needle and thread through hole number three there. When you come out hole number three at the top, you're gonna repeat that whole two step. So you're gonna go one, two seed beads for the first row, and then two for the second row. Go ahead and again, go back through beads number one and two and come out before bead number three. Once again, pull that down towards the project so you don't have any extra thread showing there. And once you're there, go ahead and go down through hole number four. That's it, super simple. So what we're gonna do is repeat this same exact thing. One 11 OCB goes on. I pick up my next quad bow through hole number one, from hole number one from the interior arch towards the exterior arch. Add another little ripple on our seed stroll, going in and adding one, two, three, and four seed beads. Going back through then one and two, you're gonna come out before bead number three to get those two stacks and you're going to continue the whole way along the length of the bracelet to go in so you're going to have an opposite effect here of our six O's sitting on top and below every other bead. As you start to add more and more you can see kind of that every other effect that's going on. You almost have that reindeer look with the antlers and the nose and everything that you can have as you're going along the piece. So it's going to go every other adding in and creating those eight millimeter, or those six millimeter beads rather sitting to the top or the bottom. I'm gonna continue until I have about 14 or about um, six and three quarters to seven inches depending on your wrist length. And we'll get ready then once we're there to show the next step. 
When you get to the end of your length here, what you're gonna do is attach your button. Coming out of the last quadbow bead, add one 15, or sorry, one 11 seed bead color into the end there of the quad bow. I have my cut button, which is just a nice jet color. And because I want some of that blue to be in it, I'm gonna dump out some of my other 11 which are the Frosted Opaque Glazed Rainbow Peacock. And they're kind of a pretty bluish green. They work really well for the kind of sea theme that we have going on here. So coming out of the end, I have one and two 11 O's that I'm adding onto my needle. I'm gonna go up through the back of the cut button so through that first hole. Let that fall down next to the project. When I'm at the top, I wanna to do silver, blue, silver. Come back down through the cup button. When you exit the cup button, I want you to use one more 11 in the silver color. And you're gonna sew back through bead number one there that you added. So you added two 11 O's. You're gonna sew back through bead number one, up through the quad bow that your thread is coming out of. right there, and that's gonna to attach the clasp. Now you may say, whoa, 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 you need with the clasp to do reinforce it. Don't worry, we'll reinforce it as we come back down the other way. Now what we're going to do is we are going to add in our second row of our beads along the top. So where we have kind of those little antlers sticking up there, we're gonna put another one of our six millimeter round right in the middle there as we connect to the sides. So coming out the top of the quad bow, I want you to sew through the first two silver beads. On this go round, we're gonna ignore the second set of two silver beads. We'll hit that up as we go through a final time. You will also have to add thread to this project unless you started out with about nine feet of thread. I'm going to coming out of that two 11 O's, add one more six millimeter bead. Sew through the next two 11 O's in line. Again, that first row here. The thread gets twisted, just straighten that out. So it's gonna sit right in there kind of perfectly. Coming out the side then, add one, two, three of your blue color of your 11s. So through the 11 that's already there at the end of your six millimeter from the start of the piece, add one more six millimeter. And now what I want you to do is add three more of your blue color. What you're gonna do now is I'm gonna let that first one go back towards the project. And we're going to think about this as a grouping of three. So the grouping of three is gonna be the last 11 of blue, the silver, and the next 11 of blue. You have three more seed beads on your noodle, needle, and you're gonna sew back through that first 11 before the silver, the silver, and the last 11 after. That's going to position just like we did with our stacking of our beads on top of one another here. That's gonna stack the beads right on top there so that way when we come through another time, we can catch on to those. I'm gonna add two more 11s for a total of three in between and sew through my next row of two silvers. Again, add another one of my six millimeter beads through the next two silver and then I'll do this linking portion one more time. So as I do this linking portion one more time, I'm gonna add one, two, three of my blue 11 O's. Then I want you to sew through the silver on top of the six millimeter bead there. Add one more of your blue seed beads. Add three more blue seed beads and go back through bead number three in that first grouping of three. So you're going back through the blue, silver, blue. And that'll put these three blue that I just added right on top of those three C beads. Give a nice little tight pull, add three more blues and into the next first row of silver. You're gonna continue this the whole way down the right side and then we're gonna do it the whole way down the left side as well. Our final pass through, we'll add our crystals as we go through all those second rows of C beads sitting on top. When you get back to the start of the piece, I have my three seed beads on here, just like if I was getting ready to continue. And I'm actually gonna remove my first one of my quad bow beads. And I'm also going to just kind of push that back out of the way so the stop bead is there. We're gonna end up taking that one off. So I have a total of 14 quad bows on. You might need 15 or 16, depending on your wrist length. This is that six and three quarters and is gonna kind of fit me 
correctly and very well. So when I get to the end here, I want to add one and two and three of my 11 O's in the silver color. We're gonna use those to kind of connect back to that 11 O there as we go down the other side. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a loop for our button to sit inside of. So I want you to go ahead and pick up about 28 of your 11 OC beads. You can do these in either color, it's up to you. I'm gonna do the blue, so that way I have that nice blue pop at the end where my black go. At this point also you may be thinking I need to add more thread. If you do need to add more thread, we're gonna add it in between here when we add one of our six millimeter beads. After you have your 28 or so beads on, if you're using a cup button like I am, we're going to take this back into a loop. Again, with this design, we're not gonna to worry too much about the fact that we have um, only gone through once because we still have two more rounds to come up and down through. So after you have your beads on, I'm gonna add one more of my 11 OC bead. I'm gonna go down through the second 11 O that's already there. That creates my loop and just a nice little style of an X silver there. And then that first silver bead on this side here, go ahead and sew up through it, as well as up through our quad bow. And you can see how that pulls that right nice into center, which will link on to my button on the other side. From here now, we're going back down the side, doing a repeat of the opposite side, adding in our C beads, as well as our six millimeter beads, so that way they flank the other side as well. I'm going to add a bead, sew through to row two, or the second two seed beads rather, and then continue on with my piece. If you need to add more thread, again, a great place to do it is kind of with your six millimeter bead. You can also do it right here after the 11 O seed beads. And you're just going to tie a new piece of thread onto the old piece of thread. So I'm going to take a new piece of thread here, get myself a couple more feet. Go ahead and burn it off on my spool. So I have my new spool of thread. I'm gonna take my new piece of thread, tie it around the older piece of thread. So not completely uh, onto the older piece of thread, just, or with the other piece of thread, you're just doing it around that older piece. Push that knot right down next to those 11 OC beads. And then knot the two thread ends together, the one that's still attached to the needle and the new one that you're adding. Give a nice tight pull and get it as close to those 11 OCBs as you can. Do one more knot, switching hands, right over left, left over right. And there you have a nice connection point. I like to go in then with my thread burner and burn that down or at least a little bit shorter so I know where that thread end is connected. You'll notice I've kept the needle attached. I'm actually going to, after I get my needle on the other side then, just pull this thread end right into that quad bow so it pulls that knot down toward the piece so you won't see it as much. I'll go in then after that fact, burn off the extra thread there, burn off the extra thread here, make sure that you don't burn your new piece since you just took the time to add it, and then I'll burn it flush against the project as I'm working. Continue on then, adding in your three seed beads that sit on the top, all of your nice of uh, that um, peacock color of your seed bead in, as well as a couple more of your eight OC, or six millimeter beads. When you get to the end of the second side, after you add in your two more 11 O's, I want you to also add one silver 11 O in. You're gonna come up through the second, or the closest 11 O seed bead there, through your button, remember I said that we would reinforce it, through the top of the beads at the top of the button, down through the beads after the button, the two 11 O's that are gonna sit on the left-hand side. And that's gonna join the two sides together as well as reinforce the edge. Just like we did before, we're gonna go up through the side here of our final hole of our quad bow towards the exterior. And we're gonna jump from the bottom one basically to the top. So we're gonna jump up, and you won't see a ton of thread. If you want to, you can weave back through, then come back after one, weave back into two, and back up. I'm just gonna jump right from the quad bow to the second row of C beads. 
you see a tiny bit of extra thread on there, but no one's going to notice. If you want to, you can also disguise it with one of your silver 11 O's. So for this go round, we are going through hole number two, or set, set of beads number two, I should say. We're going to, as we go through the set of second beads, also go through the six millimeter, straight through then to the second row of silvers on the other side. And as we pull that, it'll create this nice curvature. There you have it. So it looks like those beads are kind of coming out right along the middle of it. Coming out there then, we're gonna get our two millimeter bicones and we're pulling in that jet color. We're done with our seed beads, so I should actually clean up my mat a little bit. And coming out through my 11 0 seed beads, I'm gonna add one of my two millimeter bicone. Sew through the next three seed beads that are at the top. Add another bicone. Sew through the next set of two silver. When I sew through the next set of two silver then, we're gonna go through our six millimeter bead. Sew through the next two. So you can see it's really simple. All we're doing is as we come out of seed beads, when we come out of the silver, we go into the six millimeter beads that, that are already there. And then as we come out towards the blue beads, we just add one of our two millimeter bicones. You can use a round, a bicone, uh, one and a half by two millimeter rondelle and you're just sewing through those next three, and there you have it. So you can see how it kind of ripples along the edge there of our bracelet for our little C edge. As you get to the end of side number one, you're coming out through your three beads there. We're gonna jump right away down into the two beads after. I'm going to go up through my clasp. So this is my opportunity to reinforce. You can see I still have that stop bead there with my uh, quad bow kind of sticking out. I'm going to take my thread and needle the whole way up and around all of those seed beads, reinforcing that little edge. If you want to, you can also do a nice little peyote stitch. If you are using a clasp, like a clasp garden clasp or um, another push clasp or a toggle, I always recommend using a wire guard or a wire protector prior to putting on that metal clasp. You would have done that in place of the button. As I come down here and out through the end of my loop, I'm going to remove that stop bead, remove that first little bead there. So down through the middle bead that we're sharing, right there, that middle 11 with the X, go ahead and knot off that beginning strand, right over left, left over right, or flip the thread as you're holding it. Once you have those two nice ties, you're going to take the thread and needle that is still connected, go up through the 11 0 prior to your first quad bow there, and then as you're doing that, you can go through the quad bow, step up to the second round of seed beads, just like we've been doing on the other side. I'm going to step through there up through the quad bow. If you need to, you can kind of push the beads out of the way to come through the quad bow. And then just like I did on the other side, nice and simple, easy does it. I'm gonna go right back along the top, adding in my two millimeter beads and sewing to connect all of that second row of the seed beads. Once you finish up going through the piece, you can see how nicely those bicones just really frame and it has a nice feeling to it. Here's how it looks on the wrist as well. So I still have my thread and needle attached and what I wanna do after coming out of the last set of seed beads, just like I did with the other ones, go through, kind of step down to those three seed beads, go up through my clasp. And now this is my third time through the button. So if you want to, you can go that third th time through, it's up to you. I'm gonna come down through the other side here and skip right down. So two times I went through the beads, one time I'm skipping over the beads or basically under the beads. Coming out through the back then, on the other side, I'm going to sew down through those two seed beads here one and two. We go my way through. And then I'm just going to knot my thread and needle off along my project. So bringing that back through, I'm going to go in towards the center of my project, going up through my quad bow. Because I have the white thread and the cream, I'm just going to go right down through. Once I'm out through there, 
I'm going to sew underneath a bridge thread or a thread that connects one bead to the other bead, form a knot. I'm going to take my thread and needle through the piece here, back out through the front, create a knot there, one and two for a nice little sewer's knot there. Nice and tight. I'll sew through the piece, back down through the bead again after the seed bead, or bring the piece out to the side. I'm just sew down through the side here. And I'm going to end my thread right near either a silver bead or one of my white, my cream cup quad bows, my cream quad bows. That way you don't see the knot as much. So I'm going underneath that bridge thread there once and twice through that loop. Give a nice tight yank. So through my quad bow, pull that knot in towards the quad bow, and then take my thread burner or my threads up burn down that extra thread. And then I'll go back to the area where I had the extra thread uh, from connection point and burn that down as well. And then your C-Stroll bracelet is completed. As always, thank you so much for joining me and I hope you had a lot of fun playing with our quad bow beads, creating this wonderful C-Stroll bracelet. There's so many varieties that you can do, switching out for some disco ball six millimeter if you want a little bling, as well as some of the great new colors of the quad bow beads. You can also switch out some of the bicones again for rounds or rondelles to change up the look just a little bit. If you do need any of those materials, check out the links below to shop with us online at potomacbeads.com as well as potomacbeads.eu. Remember also, if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You're not going to want to miss anything from us here at Potomac Beads. Likewise, give a little thumbs up if you can, as well as comment below. Ask any questions, give some advice to other beaters, say what colors you're going to be doing it, ask if you can do varieties you know, educate and really help out the beading community at large. It's wonderful to have our viewers contribute. As always, thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully you had fun playing with the quad bows and creating this nice C-Stroll bracelet.